Earth itself is a giant magnet. You can think of the Earth as being like this rubber ball that has a magnet inside it. So when we take a compass, that compass will point to the direction where the magnetic field is on this ball. So this would be the south pole of the ball, and over here would be the north pole of the ball. And everywhere on Earth, the compass turns so that it's pointing along the direction of the magnetic field. Well, that tells you the magnetic field at the surface, but in fact the magnetic field of the Earth is not just at the surface, but it extends out into space. So here in North America, the magnetic field direction points a little bit east of north because the magnetic pole is near Greenland and the southern magnetic pole is in Antarctica. So we consider magnetic lines of force as lines of the direction that the magnetic field is pointed. They go out and in. Actually they go out at the south pole and in near the north pole, but they extend out into space. The important thing about magnetic field lines, these lines of force, they never close, even though I show them ending on the Earth's surface. In fact, they close deep within the core of the Earth. And in fact, there is an electrical circuit, like in a big electromagnet, which creates and sustains the Earth's magnetic field. For us to have an electromagnet in the center of the Earth, we need to have a core of the Earth that is liquid metal and also in motion. If you look at a planet such as Venus or Mars, they have lost so much heat that their core is no longer molten and they don't have magnetic fields.